welcome back to Da TV. It's your girl Elder. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Moi. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Right, right. Then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag Da Cousin Gang. And you'll officially be my cousin. Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cuzzo? What's up, for me? You already know how I get down. We mean why? Welcome back. Back, hey, back, back, hey, back, back, hey, back, back, hey. You already know, y'all, we is, <sighs> we are doing good today. We are doing good today, okay? Because <clears throat> we, you know how the enemy be trying to ride your back, be trying to keep you down, but we ain't having that. You already know. So, with that being said, y'all. We got we got a few things that we need to talk about, okay? Because one, your girl feelings was hurt, okay? Two, I think I'm becoming an introvert. And three, um, we are going to shut down the website, okay, for the candles. So let's get into it. What should we talk about first, okay? Um, I want to jump into, I think it's Proverbs. All right. Um, I think I'm going to read it in the Amplified version. All right, here we go. So I'm going to switch to the Amplified version for this. Okay, because I want to have this. Can I vent for a second? Can I talk to my cousins for a second? Right. All right. So in the book of Proverbs 29, 18, it says where there is no vision, no revelation of God and his word, the people are unrestrained, but happy and blessed is he who keeps the law of God. Right. And I want to focus on that first part of the verse where where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained. Right. And when we look at, follow me now, when we look at the definition of unrestrained, it means not, not restrained or restricted, right? Uncontrolled, um, unchecked, unlimited, unshackled, right? Boundless, out of control. Um, wild, runaway, free, unbounded. So, um, when there is no vision, the people are unrestrained. And the KJV version, it says the people perish, right? Let me make sure, because y'all know we do not add or take away from the word. But on the verse 18, it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. And... Y'all know I like definitions, so stay with me. Suffer death, typically in a violent. It means to die, fall, expire, be lost. These are what perish mean. So for the lack of vision, the people perish. For the lack of vision, the people are unrestrained. The KJV and the Amplified Version, right? And I'm at a place, right? Y'all know that I'm in transition. So it's been... You can have vision for one area of your life and completely don't have anything for other areas in your life. What am I saying? Uh, we can say, do we really have a vision for our life? Um, how we desire to live, how we desire to be, um, you know, family wise. Um, if you do desire a family, how do you want to conduct yourself? Um, because oftentimes we can have a vision when it comes to business. We can have a vision when it comes to ministry. We can have a vision when it comes to, you know, um, you know, yes, having children and getting married, but about ourselves, taking away the business, taking away the family, taking away, you know, all these, um, 
these garments right when it comes to you yourself do you have a vision for you yourself like how do you desire to be mentally how do you desire to be emotionally spiritually financially right we got to look at all these things and i realize for myself I have a vision when it came when it comes to the business. I have a vision when it comes to the ministry. I have a vision when it comes to my children and my spouse. But however, when it comes to myself, I didn't have a vision. I didn't have no vision, right? Because now what happens, you know, y'all know my husband is not here, right? Okay, my husband is not here. All right. My children are at school right now. My daughter is at school. Um our son is not you know with me um but however you know he's not here so okay now in this in this moment you know i'm talking about self-care i'm talking about you know taking care of myself but it's like dang do i have a vision for elda like what does it look like to take care of me what does it look like to pour back into myself what does it look like to to, to protect me so now because i didn't have a vision for myself it left me open to be abused it left me open to be taken advantage of it left me open right where I'm all over the place for everybody else but I'm not there for me and we have to unpack this right because it also ties into how my feelings got hurt I remember talking to my friend and you know so she asked me and it and, and it's like now I'm seeing the depths of what she was asking me because she asked me what does a typical self-care day look like for you because you can't say because you didn't do nothing for that day because you didn't have anything planned you can't say that was self care we have to be intentional we have to be intentional about our vision we have to be intentional about our self care right so she was and I because I was saying that y'all I really need a couple of days in a hotel by the beach by myself tuned out you know so that I can recalibrate okay because i've been through so much within the last year and a half all right and i've come to the realization that i didn't unpack i'm coming to the realization that i didn't grieve i'm coming to the realization that i didn't deal with some things i just suppressed it i stayed busy and i kept it moving right so now you know I was, you know, coming up the stairs, getting ready to come in the house, and I got a text message where somebody was asking me to do something. And this person, I, I really don't hear from them, not unless they need something. That's the only time I hear from them is when I when they need something. Right? And I'm not even going to get into the whole spiel, you know, oh, check on people, like, you know, stuff like that. At the end of the day, when you don't call and check on me and you don't check about my mental or my emotions, I just see where you at and I just move accordingly. So now it made me question, like, dang, am I becoming an introvert? Am I really becoming an introvert or am I learning how to protect myself? I'm learning how to protect my peace, how to protect my energy, how to protect my atmosphere, my surround, my environment, right? Um, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I'm learning how to protect it. So is it really that I'm becoming an introvert? Because y'all know I told everybody, right? I'm a people's person. I love people, right? I love interacting with people. So it was just like, dang, am I really becoming an introvert? Because it's one thing when you begin to pray and you're asking God to, you know, when you decree and declare that you no longer be naive to the devices of the enemy. Because yes, God, yes, we're here to serve one another. But even the word of God says, don't cast your pearls to swines. So I was, you know, and all of this really just been unpacking because the hurt that I needed. This was the the hurt that I needed so that I can check, you know, it was my check check. 
So the other day, let's get into how my feelings got hurt, to which changed the course of my mindset and, you know, really had me looking in depths of everything around me, right? So, long story short, I was standing outside um, needing to decompress because I felt heavy, um, you know, and I wasn't feeling too good. Um, you guys could sort of kind of could hear it. I'm still not feeling too good. But, you know, I'm decompressing or whatever. And this individual, uh, my brother in the Lord, um, you know, he was just like, hey, how you doing? How's everything? Ask me how hubby's doing and stuff like that. And then he was like, yo, I want to be real with you because you've always been real with me. Straight, no chaser. And if you know me, that's how I say it. When you talk to me, talk to me straight. No chaser, right? Because sometimes we be trying to fluff things up to try to butter the person up or to prepare them before we... No, talk to me straight, straight, no chaser. But y'all, I was not expecting it to hurt my feelings, right? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to... I didn't know what to expect. But one thing I'll tell you, I, I, I didn't think that my feelings would be hurt the way that it was hurt. But it's the hurt that I needed So because it's the check check, right? So he was like, yo, you fell off. And I looked at him like, what you mean? And he was like, you fell off. And I'm like, fell off how? And he was just like, your appearance. Like... You let yourself go. And I was just like, yeah, you know, I've been I've been going through some things. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. And he was just like, I feel you. But the elder I know. And I was like, I feel you. But you have no idea what I've been through. And I gave him a snippet of what I was going through. And he was like, oh, damn. And after that silent, we both went silent. That's when I began to, my heart began to, you know, and my eyes began to tear up. And I was just like, dang. And the reason, like, okay, yeah, it's one thing, you know, for a man to tell you, you fell off. But for me, I didn't think it would bother me so much because this individual is not my husband. You understand what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, it hit different when it's your husband. Um, so I'm just like, it took me to a place where it was just like, well, dang, I'm not even representing God. I'm not representing my husband. I'm not representing my children. Right. I'm not representing my business. Like, you know, it, I, I just begin to spiral down and the Holy Ghost just had to really catch me. It was like, hey, give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. And I was just like, and it just began to make me really look at everything that I've been through because I have gotten to a place where it's just like, I do not care. I do not care. But then it began to show me how that mindset began to trickle into my outer appearance. Right? And how I was lazy in certain areas. So, or I wasn't able to produce the way I desired to produce because uh, subconsciously, you know, I was checked out. So, it hurt it, but it was the hurt that I need to refocus. It was the hurt that I need to recalibrate. It was the hurt that I need to look at things, you know, differently and look at things deeper. So, it was just like, bruh, you ain't even have to say it like that. You didn't even have to say it like that, you know, but I told him straight up. I was like, damn, that hurt it. And he was like, you know, I didn't, it wasn't my intentions to hurt. I said, no, 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 you good. Like really you good, but I wasn't expecting it to hurt. You feel what I'm saying? But I know that you care for your sister that much to actually say something because it's like how many other people have seen and didn't say nothing, right? Because God corrects those that he love. So it's like now it makes me like, well, dang, all these people that said they love me, why didn't they, you know, check, check. Like, come on, elder, like, check, check. You feel me? Not talking to the people 
that's you know seen to it that I was good and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. Y'all know who y'all is. You feel me? But it was just like, oh my God. So we gotta buckle down for real. Right? We gotta buckle down for real. So with that being said, um, I don't know what check check you may need, but if you are operating below what the standard that God has set if you allowing yourself to if you're not allowing yourself um your your potential to come into fruition or to manifest then this your check check you got to get back up because it you got to get back up because you can't we can't function we can't prosper we can't produce and low vibrations we can't we cannot. So with that being said, um, becoming an introvert, um, I don't think I'm becoming an introvert. I'm just learning how to guard. I'm learning how to protect, right? And I'm learning that I don't have to respond to every call, to every text message, right? I'll get to it when I get to it, especially in this journey of healing and unpacking. Huh. So now when it comes to the website, the candles, guys, I'm going to shut down the website uh, for maintenance. Okay, because I want to enhance the burning faith experience for my clients. Um, right. And my candle lover cousins. So, um, yeah, right now we got a sale going on. Um, I have a few eight ounces left. I have excuse me a few 10 ounces and a few 16 ounces and left and then the four ounces I have quite a few left so and four or five room sprays so we about to if y'all not following the burning faith page on Instagram be sure to follow so that you can go ahead and take advantage of the sale um, cause we got to get everything out so that we can do a full restock and, um, redo, um, do some maintenance when it comes to the website to enhance your experience. Okay, y'all. Um, so please, if y'all not following burning faith underscore co, make sure that you guys are following. Also be sure to subscribe to Elder Pale Pod um, YouTube channel for the talk show um, and slash podcast. Okay, because we coming back up, we coming back up. But um, but cousins, I do ask you for this. I need you guys to encourage me in the comments. I need just leave a short message to encourage me because listen, I thrive my I I I do my best to be. Uh, transparent and vulnerable to encourage you because I want you guys to go through the process with me for the glow up okay uh, because I don't want y'all to see when um, I'm up there and you know all this stuff and then you don't see how we got there right um, and then I got some content coming for you guys uh, some transparent um, content taking you back through what um, you know I've gone through uh, within these past um, year and a half um, and then the prison wife diaries that is going to be another woohoo so um, with that being said I look forward to reading your encouragement in the comments um, I love y'all if this have encouraged you inspired you or make you think in any shape way or form make sure you hit that thumbs up all right i thank you for rocking with me cousins i love y'all i appreciate y'all for real for real you already know it's up uh 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 it's up you already know but i love y'all be blessed be encouraged and remember you have victory on every side